Hi, Annie here, and today I'm here with the Dollarama haul. And for those of you unfamiliar or not Canadian, it is a like a Dollar Tree or just a general dollar store. Things range in price from a dollar, usually a dollar twenty-five, up until about four dollars. There could be some things that are higher. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, anyway, I have a quite a big haul. Uh, I was I don't get out very often, so. This was quite a splurge, but I don't actually get out of the house that often, so uh, it wasn't actually that much. It's just been lots of saved up shopping. I'm just going to jump in. Sorry, I'm still rusty. I feel like there's, you know, blathering to do, but really there's not. There's just just dollar ram of goodness to get to. So I'm trying to actually I'll start with this one since it's right in front of me and it is a glue gun pad. It is a silicon non-skid heat resistant uh, like mat that rolls out at kind of like a little mini cooking sheet type thing and you can put your glue gun on and it won't wreck your thing. I also as much as it's great for a glue gun I really was looking at this for my uh, flat iron because in the bathroom there isn't like a really great place to set it so I figured that would be handy. Um, here is the next thing I'll go to and it is some uh, five by seven artist canvas. Uh, I had saw a project that I thought would kind of be neat with, you know, not using them necessarily for painting, although I'm sure they're great for that, but for decorating with like gemstones and things like that. So I thought I'd give that a go. Uh, since it wasn't for painting, I wasn't as concerned with the like overall quality, although I'm looking forward to giving those a try and seeing if what the quality is like, because maybe they're actually, you know, pretty decent. Um, the I also found these packs, and these are going to blind you, I'm sure, so I won't do it too quick, or too much long, but these are little mirror tiles, and they've got adhesive on the back. Uh, these were $1.50, and I got two uh, packages of them, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they're, they're all cut and everything, so you can uh, break them off, I believe, or put them as a full tile. Anyway. That I thought seemed kind of cool and might be fun to use as decoration. From that same aisle, another crafty thing. This was a four dollars, and it is 144 pieces, and it's wooden. Uh, I don't know what you call these, like craft shapes is what they call it. But uh, I figured you could, I could paint them and use them for decorating stuff. I thought they were kind of cute. I'd never seen these before. Shortly after. I picked these up actually I think later that night I saw other people had posted um, pictures of these on Instagram so they must have been brand new. The craft section when I went in was like super stocked so I found stuff that I normally you know you don't see so I think that they must have just been freshly stocked and they've got like anchors and camera, music notes, crown, some bunting pieces, stars, cars, chevron, arrows, glasses, bike, house, you know. Hopefully you can see that there. The sun is all of a sudden going in, so hopefully the the lighting will stay okay. So I also found these packs of paper. These were a dollar fifty, and they have uh, how many sheets are in it? Twenty four, and these are all like metallic uh, sheets. I thought they looked they're fifteen centimeters by fifteen centimeters squared, so. Again, I thought they were kind of neat. And then these were the ones, though, that had caught my eye first in that line. And I thought they were just looked really kind of cool and pretty. And yeah, so, but then the other ones I thought maybe were a little bit more practical for in the crafting because they didn't have quite as much uh, dazzly quality to them. But I am a sucker for dazzle, as becomes evident really if you watch any of my videos, I think. Any, any volume and you start to see I'm a bit of a sucker for for the sparkle. So uh, these I also found 45 uh, bells and they are about the kind of thumb size of like the tip of your thumb or like a very small, uh, I don't know, small cherry, something in that range, tiny cherry. But these I'd looked all over for ones that were like a decent price at Christmas time last year I, and I couldn't find them. Like uh, everything was way overpriced and I just or sold out and so I thought I get those and then when at Christmas time or before Christmas if I want to use them I have jingle bells and then I'm not ending up paying like way more than I wanted to or anticipated or whatever and I don't these aren't marked on the thing I think they were a dollar or a dollar fifty so I also picked up a uh, eight boxes of 
matches. Uh, these are wooden ones. I'll have to see if they're any good. I got them to put in like the emergency kit and to have for around the house if you know wanted to light something because we don't have tons of uh, matches and that stuff around. And actually on that same thing I got three lighters at the cash checkout thing for $1.25 again for um, emergency kit and just like you never because we don't smoke never have that kind of stuff around uh, when you need it. So whether it's for finishing off you know an edge end of a cord or something that you want to seal I never have matches or like fire essentially so and I'm tired of going to my camp and using my flint piece that's really inefficient and horrible to try to do. So I picked up a lot of fire starting stuff. Um, so here I also got a pack of six foam brushes for $1.25. I'll have to see how these are. I know when I was um, trying to get them at Michael's before they were like six or seven dollars for a pack this size at least were um, you know the aisle that was being looked at or whatever so I thought for $1.25 I'd see if they were any good. I have one for painting those you know some of the foam pieces but also just uh, for Mod Podge or whatever when I'm using glue and those ones being uh, cheaper I won't worry if I end up having to like throw them out if they won't get clean or you know are a mess to go or whatever a bit less concerned. I try to I like to keep that stuff going and I have a lot of stuff that I keep for a long time but sometimes buying it fresh when you're not it's horrible if you pay ten dollars that it still falls apart like immediately so anyway here is some double-sided tape and this is their own brand I believe this is like the Dollarama brand maybe I'm actually not sure about that now that I say that they had a lot of this brand around and this was a dollar 25 and is 6.3 meters so it's not the best I'd gotten some really great dollar uh double-sided tape there uh probably a year or two ago that I really liked I th actually I think it's in a previous video I did but I really liked it but I've it's never been I've never been able to get it when it was back in stock so I thought I'd try this one and actually while well, we're talking about double-sided tape I also got this kind of uh, more crafty style uh, double-sided tape this one's actually acid-free as well actually I'm not sure if this one is or not seems like it should be since they're showing scrapbooking stuff on this front but it doesn't say uh, this one is acid-free and again I thought I'd give it a try and see how it was since I'd love the other one and actually this is the same brand and it was really it stuck good you know so um let's see here's some like sticker pieces and they are horseshoes and four leaf clovers and yeah these are the EK success brand I don't know much about them I think these were a dollar fifty I think I wish I could remember I think my receipts here but I probably won't know if I've gotten it like drastically wrong I'll try to add a thing either in the description box or on the screen but I think it was in that kind of range um, so these are adhesive pieces and they're raised I, you can't see but they're raised and they're like plastic and have little demontes on them so I thought those would kind of be cute again for decorating some stuff I've gotten more into paper crafts the last year or so and um, like junk journals and like bookmaking and decorating and stuff like that so I thought some of that stuff would be pretty cute and actually in that same vein I also found these gel stickers they're like kind of like um almost like little epoxy raised stickers and they're just in like a vibrant kind of rainbow but also you know very glittery similar to that other paper they catch the light real nice and again I'm a sucker for the sparkle so uh, speaking of sparkle I also got a red thing of glitter uh this was a dollar 25 and yeah decent amount I saw afterwards at Walmart that they actually have big things of glitter now for like under ten dollars at one point here in Canada like uh, this would have been like like eight or nine dollars at least for the glitter uh, and that's like with a coupon or whatever at one point it was really cheap and then got really expensive and now it appears that probably with the making of slime and all that stuff because that was in the section it was in at Walmart like really good prices so that was actually good to see because at one point it had been very very expensive to, to buy glitter um, they also had these felt they call them swatches or just squares uh, it's 45 pieces the felt is like a decent uh, weight it's not particularly soft or anything but again I had I sometimes make little felt uh, like characters like little tiny felt guys and 
uh, just hadn't been able to find a lot of good colors or whatever around lately and especially like within a decent price range so uh you know if it's good quality felt i don't matter but i i mean buy it off the bolt at like fabricland or something's kind of crazy when you know if you only need a little bit so i thought i'd get that and have a good assortment of colors i've still got a little bit left from other projects i was working on a couple of years ago let's see uh, here is some paper butterflies, and I don't know if you'll, the packaging probably doesn't do this justice. It's like paper ephemera pieces, and you can use them on like gift packaging or, um, you know, in journaling or whatever, just decoration. There are 33 of various sizes. And yeah, I thought I like this. I've been look are the Michaels that's near me isn't carrying this kind of paper ephemera stuff anymore because they were saying that everybody's just using a Cricut, so which is a paper cutter for those of you who don't know, like an electronic die cut machine. But I'm you know I don't have a three hundred dollar plus die cut machine to use for like occasion. Uh, Thirty three for a, a dollar was oh starting to slip out the end here. I can show you them then. I didn't realize that was open. So it looked like that kind of thing. And yeah, I thought those were kind of neat. And for a dollar, I have other paper pads and stuff that kind of fit this theme that will, you know, so they'll look nice with that and the kind of nature and the color scheme and everything. So anyway, that's them. And they were a dollar. I think I've said that like three times now. But anyway, here we go. They also had a few vials of beads in. I got uh, this mixed blue set. Hopefully you can see that this vial was $1.25. There's mostly seed, like tiny seed beads in it, but there are a few bigger ones as well. Hopefully that's coming. I've got that in the right place, I hope. <laughs> it's a guesstimate. So there's $1.25. It doesn't say how many ounces are in it, but it seems like it's kind of, the norm it's a normal like vial of the beads like in the kind of the bigger size of the the vials that you find at craft stores and so for a dollar 25 that was a good price even if i don't get tons of use out of the bigger ones although i think i will and then i also got this one which again had a f more of the bigger ones and it's a slightly different mix of blue but i quite liked it and they seemed like ones I would use. So that's why I got those two. The red and the yellow mixes, uh, I didn't quite know what I'd use them for based on what was in them. So uh, yeah, anyway, uh, here is little glass bottles. These have a screw top lid. They're glass. It's four in the package for $1.25. It's their own brand. I haven't um, bought this kind of packaging from them before. I've seen other people talk about them on YouTube being at like a decent buy and I have a bunch of little things that I'm like always trying to stick in an envelope or whatever and a mess to try to get through because then you, you know, or it's in too big a containers and that takes up a lot of space. So I thought I'd get those and try them and see how they went and if they, the lids stayed on good and all that stuff. And then I got these light bulb paper clips in the uh, like stationary section. My brother is uh, studying something to do with power and I've been working on a, I've been collecting stuff for a notebook and everything and I started it and so I thought those would be quite cute to use as like a page decoration and to put in the book for him. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot about these. Ha <laughs> Um, I got, uh, I found a bunch of scotch duct tape. So these are 10 yards and it has, it's like teal with stars on it. It is metallic. Yeah, I kind of doubt you're going to be able to see this, but that is that one. I might, if it really is bad, I'll try to insert a shot here. Uh, and then they also had, uh, this, which I couldn't resist. I am in nineties, you know, I, I went to high school in the nineties and this is the Paul Frank, uh, monkey duct tape and I just kind of couldn't quite resist it. I actually got two rolls so I have enough for doing a like different project if I want or whatever using it on like gifts or whatever I'm doing. Um, if I'm if I've got somebody or somewhere that it goes I want to make sure it didn't run out. Um, 
very popular when I was like about 16, had a 16, 17, had a big moment at that point and uh, yeah, it was kind of a nostalgic thing, which actually I've been on a nostalgic kick anyway lately, but that was another place that I found a bit of nostalgia. Um, anyway, I also picked up these ice cream, they're called slider spoons. And they are, like, they say they're ideal for ice cream or frozen desserts or whatever. Now, I eat quite weird because I have a st bad stomach. I've, health problems in stomach is one of them. I can't really eat solid foods anymore. So I eat a lot of, like, purees and uh, soup and this kind of stuff. And I actually thought, like, oh, I'll get a fun spoon and, like, maybe eating my, like, pureed squash and that kind of stuff will be a little bit more exciting occasionally. So that's what they look like. They're quite flat but slightly like uh, bowed their own. That's making my camera go crazy. They come in multiple colors here. There is like a lime green, a teal, and then this pink color. So anyway, I thought those were kind of fun. Again, they weren't very expensive. At all. Uh, under two dollars I believe but again they're not listed there's not a price like on the box it was on the shelf and I can't remember um oh, so actually speaking of my stomach I'll just get this out of the way I still got other stuff to show here but I'm drowning in things at this point on the bed I picked up this sand uh pail bucket but not for a fun day at the beach I have a lot of um I spend a great deal of time throwing up because of my bad stomach. It's paralyzed. It does not go, stuff does not like to go down very well. And outside of a feeding tube, there's not a lot of options for me. Uh, and a feeding tube has very much been discussed and is whatever. But at this time, it's because of my other health problems is not a great suggestion. So I won't be using the scoop, but I got this because it will fit in a purse or a bag uh, to be a bit more discreet because I do t always have one out when I'm out and right now I have a bag that it carries in so it's not very obvious but it is like bigger and I thought so some days when I know I'm like less likely to need I wanted a small little bucket that was still easy to clean and I didn't get stuck or whatever and having said that I also got these ice buckets they are I had a um, one of these probably like four years ago now and it was and then it cracked and it's not very good for you know a barf bucket if it's cracked at the bottom um, but I liked these ones because for gripping on to there was like no sharp edges and you can like lean on them you know sometimes when you're getting sick and you just don't want to like actually like support yourself so you're kind of like crunched over the edges of these ones are quite like not harsh and so you can lean across it and not like give your arm like a slice or whatever so because these only tend to be out in the uh this kind of like season like the summer season for ice buckets i got three of them you know just to just to have it on hand and in the closet or whatever to because last time when mine when the last one cracked it was a bit of a shame and it took two years to find another two or three years to find another one so you know i was i was gonna play that one safe um so I also put enough about you know stomach problems and vomit and all this stuff so here is a thing of ribbon it is nine uh no three meters nine feet ten and it has little dragonflies on it and it's kind of like a natural looks like a natural cotton ribbon and then has like a dragonfly print on it I thought it was quite pretty again to go with some of the other nature themed paper I have and for wrapping stuff up I really liked that one and that I believe was a dollar or no a dollar 25 for that one um, in also in the crafting section they have these stickers and these were two dollars for each one I've got two and so this one they're kind of like metallic and they're quite big like that's my hand next to it so they're they're big stickers and this is kind of like a drive-in um like the fabulous 50s with the car and route 66 and garage a welcome with an airplane bar and a motorbike and then on this one here there's jazz band party time rock and roll we are open and they're like just kind of metallic and cute and again I just kind of liked those ones and I have some things that I had in mind for them so actually I thought I got a flamingo one as well instead actually of one of these but uh, I guess not I thought I got one they show them on the back and I thought I'd gotten one that said like flamingos cocktail anyway oops <laughs> But I like those ones, I just thought I got another. And then I also have this giant sheet, it's probably like close to a foot, does it actually, oop, 
it's very crunchy. Say the price close to a foot by a foot, I believe it was two dollars. It's adhesive like pearls, it's like a full sheet of them for decoration. You can cut them apart or whatever, use for crafting or decorating, all that kind of stuff. So that was quite cool. I like that one. And then I also got this little strainer. It's stainless steel. Now, not all of the strainers at Dollarama are always stainless steel, but this one was just a dollar. I have a bigger one that I got from the same brand that's like a seven or eight inch one that I use all the time because again, bad stomach. I end up straining a lot of food to be able to have a bit more access to stuff like a lot of salad dressing stuff. I can't eat the bits, but if I strain it, I still can get the salad dressing or you know, whatever it is, whether it's a, it's a, you know, soup that's got too many pieces in it or like celery that's been blended but still has too much uh, stringy bits, I strain a lot of stuff at the moment. So I thought this one was like a mug size, so if stuff was up here and it needed a little bit extra, I didn't have to get the giant one out and get a full bowl to put it over and all this stuff that I could just go from one mug to the other if I needed it. So fun, fun times. Um, here I also got some Zebra mechanical pencils decorated in uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. My dad's a big fan of them and I got them to put with his birthday gift. So shh, don't tell him if you know, you, you know him, you don't, I'm sure. But if you do, don't tell him, don't spoil the surprise. I mean, I say you probably don't because nobody like in real life actually really knows I do this. So, you know, it's unlikely that you found me. Uh, if you're a real person, but if you happen to be like a real, I mean, you're all real people, but you know, if you're a real person that knows me in real life, you probably uh, haven't found me online, but if you have, keep it a secret from um, Papa. Um, anyway, I think I got everything. Oh, I also got a couple packages of straws because I was running low and I like their neon ones and I don't think there's, I think I put them away, so I'm not going to go and drag them out because it's just a box of straws. So, which again, I use because of my bad stomach and that helps swallow and things, stuff's more likely to stay down if I drink it with a straw. So I drink with a straw all the time. Anyway, I just was looking around like wildly, I know, cause I wanted to make sure I got everything and I think I did. So let me know if you've had any good luck at the Dollaramas or what's your best find at a Dollar Tree or store near you. Uh, I do like finding the crafting supplies there. So yeah, I'll have to, uh, I've been yammering on, I realize, but I'll let you go and I hope you're having a great day and I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye.